Hey everybody, Larry Lawton here, and I had a good video for you today. We're back with the cooking show, and you guys know I love that. I'm gonna do a little bit of a twist on pasta a different way, without a microwave. So we're gonna get to that in a minute. Before I get started, please check me out on YouTube member programs, Patreon, Discord. Please check the book out, Gangster Redemption. There's a lot of stuff about it, even pictures. And the book is $19.95 in any video I have. Just check it out in the links below. People said they couldn't find it, you can find it. Also, check out our cigar, The Crooked Diamond. CrookedDiamondCigar.com, CrookedDiamondCigar.com. The cigars are great. Believe me, I love them. I'll be smoking one during this video. All right, guys, here we go. What I'm gonna do in this video is I'm gonna do a twist on how the pasta is made when you have no microwave, but you have your prison stuff. And I call it your stinger, your bowl, your little stuff that you get. Okay, first of all, my stinger, it was hit. It got taken in a shakedown. I gotta make another one. All you do is you take the drain covers off the showers. Yeah, we used to do that all the time. And if they get pissed at us, you get the rubber grommets, you get these guys from the CMS. CMS is where the guys in prison work and they walk around, they come, they fix plumbing, they say, hey, give me a couple little grommets. Give me a couple little rubber grommets. Or a little pieces of wood we get. We used to get a cord off of a uh, typewriter or a, uh, we used to have the electric typewriters. We, or we would get it off a pencil sharpener in the counselor's office that would come up missing because the guy's cleaning it, so we do that. So, the first thing you do is you got your, your drain covers. The first thing you do is you put the grommets three spaces around. And the reason you had to do this because they cannot touch. But before I even do that, I'm going to hook up a piece of the electrical cord. It has to go to each one, and they cannot, and I say cannot, touch each other or you will blow a fuse. Uh, if you remember in a previous video, we blow some fuses and it was because of my stinger, which was actually, my stinger was a little bit rusty. So I put one like that, as you can see, and then the other one over here, Literally put it in, in and wrap it a few times. And I want to I want you to notice something I'm doing. And I don't want you to try this at home. This is only done by a professional. <laughs> yes, yeah, a professional criminal. Guys who've been in the joint are laughing right now. So you put it like this, and you notice I have the, the wires where they're not gonna come up. They, they're not coming out those bottoms. And now they're gonna be here, but they're not gonna be next to each other. Look at that because you do not want these wires to touch. So now you put this like this, in between like that. You put the next one here. And you just have to have them, I used to always use three, and three, three sections. Some people did four, it did not matter. And you put them just like this. And as you can see, Oh, I didn't get that one in there. And I'm holding them tight right now. So now, what do you do when you got them like this? And it's tight like this. The first thing you do, people, is you take a rubber band, just a regular rubber band, and you cut it like this tight across. I used to have thicker rubber bands I used to have. Because that's exactly what happens they cut, the, 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 the metal cuts them. And that is kind of common. So, so we're running out of rubber bands. So I am going to get it where it goes the right way. It's one. And these will pop and break a lot. That's kind of normal for this to happen. But we used to have thicker rubber bands in the joint, and that helped a lot. But it's just something that we did. And uh, okay, so now, oh, see that one popped again. So I will just make sure. Oh, there's 
Okay, so there is your stinger. Making sure, oh boy, see that's too, too not good. So I'm just gonna make sure that does not touch that other piece of metal. And as you can see, it cannot touch. If it does, we will have a, a fuse break. That's just what's gonna happen, a fuse break. So they're not touching each other, they will break the water. Man, this is getting a little bit uh, frustrating. Nothing is touching, and that is a key to this thing. Okay. All right, now there's your stinger. I'm gonna get that thing going right away. And start boiling my water, which is key. So you put your water in here. And here's the key to this one. Remember, we have no microwave. So I am going to put enough water that I'm kind of almost steaming but I have to cook my pasta. So I'm gonna cook my pasta. So I'm putting my water in here, just like this. And look, this is gonna be like, here's what you do here. This goes here, this goes here. And that is so my bowl will go here, like that. And that is what you do, a little bit. You can put it a little bit like that. And that's so now, this bowl is going to have my food in it and it's going to steam or cook it from the being in the water. This is called being very innovative when you don't have anything. So before I do that though, I'm going to take that out and just leave that like that. And I'm going to plug my food in. Now I cannot plug this stinger in without it being in the water. That wasn't good, because this way the, the tightness of the rubber band holds them down. And if you don't have that held down, you're not, it's not gonna stick apart. See, it has to be close enough, but they have to be apart. So that's very, very important. See, there's nothing touching, and that is important. So you put your stuff in here. I'm putting it there so I can put my cord that way. Now you plug your stuff in. Now you could look, it's gonna start boiling that water. You're gonna see it already starting to bubble. As you can see, it is. It is starting to bubble already. And that is very, very important in this video. See that water, water starting to boil already. I'm gonna let that boil. I can put my pasta in there when that's boiling and I will set this whole thing up like this and then cook it. Obviously, I'm gonna have to cut my pasta up. We got where you hide your razor. You hide it in a book. Me, what better book to hide it in? And Gangster Redemption, what better book? It's in there. Now I got my razor and I can cut up my stuff. You take this, you got your razor. Of course, your razor is ready to go. Look at this. See how it goes, everybody? Nice and easy. It is actually easy to cut with these razors and you can do this. So, as you can see, I'm cutting up all this. And look how that easy is everybody. So, once you cut all your stuff up, I'm getting ready. I'm gonna put it right in my bowl, because this is what I'm using. Just this. That's it. All right, as you can see, the water's getting there already. All right, here you go, it's real easy. I'm just cutting all my stuff up.
Now I'm doing all of this all while waiting for my water to boil. And it is boiling. It's starting already. You can see it. Water's starting to even feel it. I'm going to be literally making a kind of a fettuccine. So it's going to be good like that. Again, who doesn't cook pasta without garlic? Listen, when I was in the joint, everything was cooked with garlic. And that's how I became really, really good with garlic, guys. So, here's my garlic. I'm gonna take it apart. You can see it, just do what I'm doing. See how easy it comes? See, garlic is, it is, and I used to do hours and hours and hours of garlic with these razors, and I got so good with them, you know? That's how I learned you make razor combs. You make you take the end off, that hard end. I never liked that. So I'll take both ends off. That's just me. Some people actually leave it in there. I used to make bowls of garlic. Look at that garlic. Ooh, almost cut myself. You gotta be careful. These aren't the best. And they do, and I've been cut my share of times, you know. And I'll tell you what, I've, I've ate that bloody food. Uh, why not? Here we are with the garlic. Okay. As you can see, it's starting to boil. And starting to get really hot. Oh, I can feel it. Oh, yeah. That is going to be good, everybody. Now, I, I do see one rubber band pop. I'm not going to touch it. You don't touch it right now, because all you're doing is hoping that don't click. If, it, if the lights go out, we burn a fuse. That's part of the game. Now with this, you put a little bit of olive oil, just a little bit. You don't do a lot. This is what's gonna make the fettuccine alfredo. So I'm gonna put some Parmesan cheese. Now, I'm a little bit liberal with it, and that's gonna get the thickness of it. That whole thing is the thickness of it. So you, you got your fork, you, you set up what you bought on the commissary. Look at this, I'm actually thickening this up. So obviously, what am I gonna do with this? Look at that. You seeing that, everybody? Looks good, huh? It's garlic, it's got some onion, it's got some pepper, it's got some of the cheese. And look at that, that's gonna be perfect to be over my pasta. It's gonna be a great dish. Look at that, water boiling. Now this is, remember, mind you, I have no microwave, I have nothing. I have an electrical outlet with my uh, stinger. Now you cannot take that stinger out of that water or fuse is blown. I'm gonna get ready, ready with my pasta. Okay, as you can see everybody, I got my pasta. I told you, I used to carry, I used to keep 40 pounds of pasta, 40 pounds. And look at that water boiling. When I get that done and ready to go, it's gonna be good. So first thing I'm doing, I'm gonna cook my pasta. I wanna get that done. So water's boiling, goes in. It can touch the stinger, it doesn't mean nothing. We'd have spaghetti all around our stinger when you pull it out, does not matter. So. While that is cooking, I'm gonna do two things. I am gonna set up my, where I can put my bowl in there and start cooking that. Now look at the way the water, you can see, is gonna be starting to cook that. Look at that. Without water, without sopping it with water, we are actually cooking that. Now, to make it a little bit better, you do this with a towel and you keep the steam in. Oh, the water boiling and the food going. I love doing the cooking show. I really do. Because, as everybody knows, I do eat this stuff. And I eat it to this day. In fact, we got to come up with where I have an outing and I make food like this for everybody in a big way. That'd be good. What do you think, Nick? Nick's laughing. I don't think Nick likes my food. I saw the last video. I'm a little mad at him. I didn't know I did all that other stuff with it, but look at this, guys. I'm hearing it. Can you hear it? 
You can. Check it. And look at that, guys. Look at this. Look at this cooking. You see it? Oh, wow. Now remember, my pasta's in there. That's cooking as well. Now the pasta's gonna take anywhere. If you would like it al dente, which is a little bit of a harder pasta, uh, it'll be a little bit, you know, less time. But usually the pasta takes between seven and 10 minutes. Usually a little less, depending on how much you put in. I didn't put much. I put a dish because I'm eating today, and this is what I'm eating. So you guys will like that. Doing this is just the way to do it. I love it. This is, this is making me, uh, and don't try this at home. You can blow up, you can burn your house down with a stinger. You know, you gotta know what you're doing with a stinger. You gotta be on the right kind of uh, voltage. You gotta watch your uh, breakers. Don't do this at home, please. Enjoy it here, cook it on a stove. But do the recipe the way I'm telling you. A little milk, a little cheese, cut it up, and you're gonna be all right. Could be good for a college guy. You're in a dorm, microwave went down, or you can't get to it. I don't know how college goes, though. So you see the way this is cooking? Now I am gonna check my pasta. Take that out. Look at that water boiling, folks. Talk about hot, huh? Stingless? Boy, I didn't have that problem in prison. Not good. The wood we get all the, often out of the uh, CMS, and it's a broken wood. We use wood for a lot of different reasons, shanks, stuff of that nature, for handles. The clips were out of the library. We get those all the time out of the law library because people have enough uh, stuff in there to, to do the clips. Now, what you don't want to do, everybody, is, of course, you're letting your food cook. You see the water that the uh, water is in the bowl, and we had these bowls. That's what's cooking right there. And, of course, the steam. And you can even do this and taste a piece. And it's getting, well, it's hot. It's getting softer. And that helped. See the water under that? Now, also, as you're cooking this stuff, you don't want to salt your pasta in the water. And the reason being, salting the water is a conductor. Salt the conducts. So if, the, if you put too much salt, you'll, you'll have a, a breakdown. It will trip a breaker because you cannot put those two metal together. So salt is not good in there. You salt after the fact. You don't salt during the cooking, unless it's in a microwave. Then you can do that if you have a microwave. I'm gonna let that go a little bit. I'm gonna get myself ready for a good meal by smoking a cigar with you guys. What I'm gonna do now is smoke a crooked diamond cigar with you guys. You all know I love my cigar. Put it up. Just a tip. Just a tip, that sounded wild. Here we go. I'm gonna light my cigar. Can't have a gun, but I can now. Nobody's stealing my pasta, I got my pistol. I don't watch, I don't get any ashes in my food. I got some uh, comments on it. Listen, this is a leaf that's grown. It's burnt. I like burnt popcorn. What am I eating? I'm eating burnt leaf. Not bad. Let's see if this is good. All right, what I'm gonna do, unplug my stinger. Very important. Now you gotta drain the pasta. So here's what you do, you take your pasta out. Obvious, as you can see there, it's on my stinger. Big deal. We used to take these stingers out and clean them and take them apart and hide our stuff. That's what you do. That is exactly what you do. Because this stinger is worth its weight, man. 
You know, when you get these drain covers, you know, you start taking too many drain covers, they start getting pissed off. The first few they don't care about. Uh, but then you start taking too many of the drain covers off everything, they care about it. So, I think leave that there. I'm gonna get my pasta. And put it in my bowl. Now, I would actually have this whole thing full of pasta, and guys would be getting it. I'd be getting, get your bowl, get your bowl. You want your bowl? Get it over here. Now, look at this pasta. Oh, it's going to be good. Look at this, guys. Look at this. Oh, I'm loving this. You know, Nick thinks I, I eat disgusting stuff. And what did he say in the last video? Said that I, I, I eat weak old stuff. Well, I didn't grow up rich. I'm out Nick. I know Nick's family, good family. I know his mom, good woman. Okay, now, that's my pasta, everybody. But, I'm not done. I'm gonna put the stinger back. I'm gonna put it in, plug it in, look what happens. Look at that, guys. Boiling that water. I'm telling you, once you start, you're good. So, also what I'm gonna do now, is I wanna get this thing a little bit better. So I'm gonna cook it for a little bit. I'm here, I'm, I'm taking my pasta, I'm gonna salt it. Of course, a little bit of olive oil always helps. Me, I'm a pepper guy. Now this alone is good. <laughs> Look at this, guys. Man, you want to talk good. Now, I could put a little more cheese, but I'm not going to wait, because this is my, uh, this is a fettuccine sauce I'm making. It's boiling. It's getting it good. I want it good and hot. So, look, that's going to be nice. So, I'm going to leave that just going. I'm going to relax a second. Start my cigar again. I learned this recipe in United States Penitentiary Atlanta, where if you didn't have the microwave, it wasn't like the prison I was in where I took the microwave into my cell. Couldn't do that in Atlanta. You did that in Atlanta, you might just get killed. Uh, different prison, different styles, different security levels. I ended up getting kicked out of the uh, medium security prison because I attacked the unit manager. Not a good move, not a good move. Made the rest of my time real hard. Nothing like a crooked diamond cigar. Okay, that's about done. Look at the way that milk and that cream makes it real creamy. There goes my glasses. You want to stop it. How do you stop it? Always remember, you have to unplug that stinger. And then the water goes. I'm gonna go right into my pasta. I'm not missing anything on this one, guys. Famous stinger. Now I will take this apart, dry it, make sure it doesn't rust up and gets it good. That's what I'm gonna do. In the meantime, look at this, guys. Man, this ain't good. I gotta give a little list to my mother. You know we have to do that, guys. Don't you wanna see mom try this? I'm gonna do something. I'm gonna ask the person to come in who's visiting my mom right now. I'm gonna bring him in. And see if he likes it. You're seeing this a lot. All right, I got the best person in the world. This is what I made. 
Men va? Mm. Säger någon på. Ta dem att ge. Okej. Nej, jag tänkte det. Nej. Jag har gått till Tasty, really good, huh? Did you get that the creamy sauce that, that that's in there, huh? Yeah, you want to finish it? With cheese, no. You would you, you taste the cheese? Yeah, I can taste yeah. it. Yeah, is it good? Very good. You like the way it cooks, don't you? Yeah, that's good. But we gotta cut the spaghetti. It's hard for me to chew with no teeth. Oh, all right, don't worry. <laughs> all right, you heard it right there. That's the best review you can get. The best. Well, I'm gonna close it. You just heard the best review you can get. Tasty. Taste the cheese, taste the cream, taste it all. I love doing this. I hope you like it, I hope you try it. If you do, take a video, take a picture, tag me on Instagram, and come here and comment, because I'm doing it too. Have a great day, everybody. Please stay safe, make good choices, and I'll see you next time when we're online. Have a great day, everybody. Hey, you want to come in on this one, didn't you, Nick? Look at this. Yeah, this one looked good. It smelled good. You didn't, uh, you know. You like it? I guess so. <laughs> Look at this little fatty. Look at this little fatty. Look at him. Look at him eating that dish. He's, he, he killed him like this. I had to stab you twice for it. <laughs> you, hey, you better get a bigger <laughs> shank than you got, motherfucker. Get my food. Man, he's liking this. Look at him eat that. Hey, right, this one was good. Yeah, this one was good. You liked it, huh? I'm good.